Hey, Jacques, uh, obviously a must win for Portland, but you guys really matched their urgency and intensity. How did this game work for you guys just as a, a prep for the playoffs? Yeah, Tom, it was the uh, perfect game for us uh, to be able to be in a, a close game. Uh, we talked about the progression going into the playoffs to get our guys quality minutes and uh, be in a meaningful game where there was an outcome that uh, we had a chance to decide. So uh, very impressive effort by our guys, especially knowing that Portland had uh, a lot weighing on this game. So really give our guys a lot of credit for, for battling all night. Christian? Hey, Coach Christian, can you just talk about the night that Karras had uh, aside from that last second shot? It just seemed like he was bending that Portland defense to his will. What did you see from him out there? And just talk about what you saw from him. Yeah, he had a really great pace about him. Uh, I think overall he was surveying the defense and uh, getting to his spots, Christian, for his pull-up, uh, also mixing in attacking the rim. And so uh, that balance of creating for himself, uh, getting out in transition, getting to the paint, and just making the right play. And uh, no better person to have the ball in his hands in that situation. And uh, got a good look and glad he shot the ball. Alex? Jacques, I got a, I got two for you. If you could just touch on your offensive rebounding. I mean, there was a couple of possessions where you guys had three or four, um, three or four opportunities at baskets. And, and then just you, you talked a couple of weeks ago about you know wanting to give Karras opportunities to get into his bag more, as as you would term. I mean, is, is this kind of what you would envision tonight when you had said that a few weeks ago? I think it was uh, let's go offensive rebounding. You, you give uh, TLC, GT, and JA a lot of credit for uh, battling. Uh, and, and imposing their will on on, uh, on the offensive rebound. So some crucial rebounds that we gained to, to give ourselves some opportunity at the end of the game. Uh, and then Karras, you know, we still get close to 30 assists tonight. A few more balls drop in for us. We hit the 30 clip again. Alex, it's a balance of uh, being able to let players do what they do and not interfere and not uh, complicate things. Uh, possessions where we got a guy that has five fouls on their team, and we're going to attack him. And so uh, the team believes and cares in what he's accomplished, the work he's put in. And so this is an opportunity for him to show not only his teammates, but the rest of the league, the work that he's put in and uh, the work and the honors and the achievements that he deserves. Nick, go ahead. Jack, you were so complimentary of Dane before the game. You knew what he could do offensively. You've been around the game a long time. Having seen it up close now, how would you put into context his performance tonight and what he's been able to string together here in the bubble? You know, the, the things that we had to do to stop him, it's the ultimate compliment from uh, full court zones to uh, half court zones to running traps to uh, blitzing the basketball. So we gave him the full boat tonight. And uh, what a compliment. What a player. Uh, He's changing the game, the ability to cross half court and shoot the basketball with ease and accuracy. Uh, you give him a lot of credit. So it's, to me, I enjoy watching it. I enjoy the challenge of preparing for it and definitely enjoyed our guys responding, trying to stop him tonight. 